So good. Hey guys, my name is Jennifer and this is Living Green Cuisine. And I have some mashed potatoes left over from Thanksgiving that I really wanted to do something with. Um, so I'm gonna make potato waffles. I did this once before, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. So these are my mashed potatoes. They already had um, chives in them from Thanksgiving, but I just added some green onion, onion powder, garlic powder, some more black pepper, and then cheese. I'm gonna make these um, savory waffles, by the way. So this is my favorite brand right now, the Violife cheese. So good. So like I said, I'm just adding some more black pepper, onion powder, some garlic powder, and then the cheese. I don't know. Let's start with like half a cup for now. Do a little more. Do a full cup. So this is my waffle iron. I already greased it. Okay, it's pretty hot. All right, check back in a few minutes. A few moments later. So clearly you need uh, a binder. <laughs> I need to add flour, so. Okay guys, so we're back. Cleaned my waffle maker, sort of. Yep, I have a feeling this is gonna work out a little better. <laughs> Am I gonna be able to lift it though? <laughs> Super crispy. I'm actually gonna leave it another minute to see if the ends brown up a little bit. So guys, super crispy. Oh no! So I didn't even try it yet. I did add some flour. I really didn't want to. I wanted to keep these gluten free, but that's okay. I honestly think it would have worked. I think I just lifted the lid way too early. These took a while. These took like 12 minutes maybe, 14 minutes. I also had gravy and cranberry sauce left. So, let's try. A little both. So good. And that is cranberry sauce. A little bit of gravy. Mmm. 